Hi. Um, it's been a really long time since I sat down and did this. Um, sorry, my nails are a little bit wet. I kind of fell off the face of the internet for a little while. Um, a lot happened and it was super stressful and I made a couple videos but I never posted them because I wasn't really confident in them and how well I explained what was going on and there were bits that I should have like mentioned but didn't or that I did mention but I shouldn't have so I just wanted to since nobody's really home right now put something together and just kind of post it so that everybody knows what's going down um since the last time that I filmed, um, my, the first thing that happened since I kind of took a break was my boyfriend came over, and that was really nice, um, he was here for a couple of days. I live in North Carolina, and he lives in Texas, where I used to live, and plan on going back too soon, but, um, I hadn't seen him in, like, five or six months, so, five months. It was really nice to have that. Um, it was fun, we went camping, um, it was this huge mess though because uh, the place that we went to, um, we thought, you know, we were just gonna pack um, a bunch of food and a bunch of clothes and stuff and just go and like park our car and set up the tent and stuff and we bought like everything last minute and it was really funny. Uh, we packed our backpacks full of like snacks and like pajamas and change of clothes and warm stuff and <laughs> got like one sleeping bag for like 10 to 30 degrees and brought my comforter because we didn't know you know like what it was gonna be because it was supposed to be like super cold and it ended up being <laughs> very cold we I'm, sorry, I'm just gonna set this right here so that I'm not like wiggling around with it all night. I'm wearing shorts, so, um, but I quit my job the day that he flew in. I just was like, hey, I'm done working here, so, and it was like really, really not the best idea that I've ever had, but I'm glad I did it. Like, it caused a lot of stress in the house and on me, but I really needed to not work there anymore. So, I'm glad that... I'm glad I quit. Um, and then, you know, I started applying to, like, everywhere I possibly could. And I think I applied to, like, over 40 places before I actually got a phone call. And it was so great. Um, I went in and, um, well, the lady called me the day she wanted me to come in. At like 11 o'clock, she was like, hey, uh, is this Lauren? And I was like, yes, ma'am. Can I ask who this is? And she said, you know, um, I'm Christina from so-and-so, and I was just wondering if you could come in for an interview today at 3 o'clock. And I was like, yes, absolutely. So all day, you know, like up until like 2, 1 o'clock, I was like stressing out about like, oh my god, like I have to get ready for this interview, and I have to go in, and like what kind of ask, like questions are they going to ask? Because that's the worst part about having to find a job is like the questions during the interview because I don't even know why it's just it brings me so much stress and I don't know like I guess it's like am I gonna answer this right or am I gonna mess it up or what excuse me I'm so sorry I was just eating a bunch of jelly beans <laughs> and I always burp when I eat sugar okay but um, I was hired, like, on the spot. She said, uh, they didn't keep any of their seasonal employees, and they needed somebody to come to and work there, like, as soon as possible. So, after she hired me, you know, she was like, okay, like, come in on this day, and I was like, okay, well, that's perfect, because I have to go to Disney World. And the Disney World trip was super great. I went with my dad, my brother, my grandma, my grandpa, my aunt, and my little cousin who is turning seven years old at the end of this month, uh, January, and it was so great. It was her first time at Disney World, and I don't even know how many times I've been, so 
it was kind of fun to like show her around and be like, oh yes, this is this ride and this is this ride and this is Cuz Cuz's favorite ride because that's what she calls me is Cuz Cuz. Um, and she got bibbity bobbed and she was so exhausted. Um, it's kind of this huge mess though. I I have a lot of mixed feelings about that situation. She has she has ADHD. I personally think that she does not need to be medicated because she is seven years old and seven year olds are hyperactive. They're, they're little balls of energy and they're everywhere and you can't just say that a child has this disorder because it's just a hyper child. You, you shouldn't be on medication when you're seven. I think that's silly, but that's just me, and you can all have your own opinions, and that's fine. Um, but, um, it was kind of sad because my grandpa, I think, <clears throat> he went to one park with us the entire time that we were all there. Um, he had plantar fasciitis, I think that's how you pronounce it, and, um, He's just not doing so good. He had to be on a, a motor scooter, which Taylor loved because she didn't want to walk everywhere, of course. Um, so she got to ride with him, but then he just kind of wanted to stay in the hotel, and we brought him breakfast some days, and I don't know. I think it's just really sad to watch people kind of fall apart, especially people in your life people that you love it's it's not fun and it's really sad and everybody has an expiration date and it's just sad to watch people get closer to theirs especially when you love them and you're related to them and they're in your life and all of that good stuff um but yesterday I flew back in my brother and I woke up very very early we went to Epcot and we rode two rides and we took a bunch of well we took two photographs um one of them, we caught the Epcot ball, like, just a little bit in it. It was, like, off to the corner of the picture. And then the other one, I got the sun in it, so it didn't develop quite right. And, um, the sun ended up being black, and our faces were hardly visible. <laughs> but it was really good. Um, oh, I also had my birthday on the 3rd. Um, that was great. I am now one year closer to or two years away from legally buying alcohol, which I guess is the next milestone in my life. Um, so this is a pretty, I don't know, it's not like a huge milestone birthday, so it's not like, oh my god, I have all this freedom, it's like, oh, I have the same amount of freedom. Nothing's really changed. Um, except that I got a lot of birthday money, holla, but I spent it all today. Um, today was my first day of work, and I went in, and, um, I wore the same stuff that I had to wear for my other job, which was um, a navy blue polo and some khaki pants, because I didn't really know what the the uniform was there. And um, I, I mean, it was fine; it wasn't a big deal, because I mean, I was in uniform. But it's not even a uniform, I guess. It's a dress code, and your shirt has to have a collar, and you can't wear jeans, and that's basically it. I mean, it's kind of like business casual. So I went to the mall and I went into JCPenney and they stopped me in Sephora and they're like, can I help you find anything? And I was like, well, now would be a good time to get some new makeup. And I ended up spending like $90 on makeup, which is so bad. That was so much money. And I only got like a couple of things. I got some mascara, eyelash stuff from Tarte, which is really nice. You can't see the full effect because this is such bad quality, but if you could, you'd be like, whoa, those are fake. They're not. Um, <laughs> and then I got some powder foundation, um, which I've kind of been wanting to try. I got primer for the first time ever. I'm using primer. And then I got um, some lipstick samples and then a perfume sample, but I'm, I hate it. I like body spray more, like flat, like floral body spray. I don't like perfume, it's too heavy. It's, I don't like the way it smells, it just 
kind of smells rotted to me and I hate it. Um, that's all I got there and then I went to the mall initially because I was like I should get some more clothes you know so that I'm not just wearing like a, a blue polo and khaki pants the entire time that I'm employed here and so I got a bunch of like sweaters and um, collared shirts to like put under sweaters and I'm very excited about it. I really am. And I also got a bunch of um, earrings to put into this hole. And what I have in now is like this little gold bow, which is adorable. I got something for my cartilage, which I haven't had anything in there in like a year. Um, I lost the silver hoop that I had in there. And so it's just kind of been naked. And then this right here has just been like a silver ball for a really long time, but you can't even see because of the shitty quality, but it's like, it. I got the spikes, so it just kind of looks like this huge thing just sticking out of my ear, and I'm really excited about it. And um, that's kind of all that's going on. I have to, either tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday, because my classes start on Wednesday, so I need to go to the store. I can't remember what it's called, and I can't remember what all I need to get, but I'm sure I have it in my planner. I hope I have it in my planner. Um, and get all that squared away. I have, like, a lot of money that my dad gave me to get that all figured out. Um, I guess the most exciting part, thing I've got going on right now, is that this new job, which is part-time... It's my new job in my, my new classes. I'm so excited. This job is, it's part-time. Most of my hours are going to be 9 to 3 because, you know, my availability with school being from um, 5 to 9, which means my days are going to be like 12-hour days. Um, whew, that's, that's a lot. But it's a part-time job, but I don't, I could work 10 hours a week and still be, making enough money to buy food and pay my dad whatever I need to pay him, which is 200 a month, because I'm making $10 an hour. That is the most I've ever made at any job, except for, you know, like at Sonic when I was making tips. Um, there was like two nights where I made over $100, which was so exciting. But like, I just suck at money because I bought like hair extensions with that, but it was for prom, so. But I really need to put some money away so that, you know, I can pay for school and not pay for school, but move after school, move back to Texas and get myself a little place and, I don't know, hopefully um, I'll be able to either get my boyfriend to move out of his mom's house or find a friend who can live with me for a little while until, you know, we're both able to get on our own feet. Feet. But yeah, that's all that's going on. Um, new job, new classes, new age, new year. Everything is new. Um, so, it's going to be really good. I'm also doing, when I was hired, um, the Miss Christina, she asked if I'd be okay with doing, um, you know, she was hiring me as a cashier because I have cashier experience and she was hiring me or she was asking you know during the interview are you comfortable with like would you be interested in doing framing or like customer service or anything like that and I was like you know those both sounds really those both sound really terrific I'm great with color schemes so I think framing would be a good fit for me and I came in today at nine o'clock and she actually instead of putting me on the registers <coughs> oh my god she asked me um, to go over to framing, and so that's what I did all day today is I framed things and I learned about, like, how to fill stuff out. So, everything's going good. Things are looking up right now. It's going to be good. And hopefully, you know, I won't wait, like, another month to update this channel. And there's tapping happening on my TV and I'm home alone. Okay, bye.